Hello everybody, welcome to um, our second video on Ramsey theory. And today I'd, I kind of want to discuss uh, some preliminary uh, graph theoretic notions before we uh, continue on into the subject. Um, we'll be discussing the ideas of a graph, a complete graph, um, a subgraph, a click, and uh, an edge coloring. So if you're already familiar with these terms, I strongly encourage that you just skip ahead to the next video. Um, otherwise, uh, let us begin. So first we want to define a graph in the graph theoretic sense. So a graph is quite simply um, a set of vertices and a set of edges. Now for convenience, I've kind of labeled uh, our set of vertices 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and uh, our set of edges is very simply um, a set of pairs of our vertices. So for example, we might have our set of edges as being uh, the pair 1, 2 and the pair 1, 4. Now visually, we can represent graphs, um, we can represent vertices as uh, points in a plane. So uh, we might have something like this. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and, uh, and our edges uh, can be visually represented as, uh, as, uh, as line segments connecting the uh, two vertices. So our edge 1, 2, uh, we simply draw a line segment, and then uh, similarly for uh, edge 1, 4. Now it's important to note that these vertices, you know, we've, we have arranged them in a plane, but they don't, have, they don't carry with them any, uh, you know, they don't have any Cartesian coordinates associated with them. They, it also doesn't uh, necessarily, you know, it doesn't really matter how they're arranged in our plane. So, for example, this graph can be thought of as the same. So, this graph can be thought of as the same as uh, maybe this graph, for example. So, we have 2, 1, 4, and then maybe, you know, 3 down here. So yes, they've been arranged differently in these two, uh, in these two uh, depictions, but they're, they're essentially the same. Uh, you know, edges exist between um, each, each pair of points as it should, and, and every vertex is represented. So, yes, next, um, next I kind of want to introduce the idea of uh, a complete graph. Now, a complete graph, uh, say n vertices, is typically denoted in the literature as k sub n. So this means a complete graph in n vertices. And what's special about this, so we have n vertices in, our, in, our, in, in this set, but what's special about um, kn is that within our set of edges, we have um, every possible pair of points. And so the best way to, descri to, to, uh, to uh, represent a complete graph visually is to arrange our endpoints in a circle. So uh, I guess for convenience, let's consider uh, K4. So let's consider K4. And this is going to look something like, so we arrange our points in kind of a cyclic manner, or arrange our vertices rather, in kind of a cyclic manner. And, we ha and like I said, we have an edge between every possible pair of points. So it would look something like this. So this is, uh, like I said, a complete graph on four vertices. Now from here, I kind of want to get across the idea of, uh, of a subgraph. Now a subgraph is, uh, it, it, it's a very intuitive notion. It, it's probably exactly what you think it is. A subgraph is a graph on, uh, basically you take a subset of uh, vertices of an original graph, and then you draw edges between those vertices, so long as you know, those edges were also edges in our original graph. So for example, a subgraph of K4, you know, we might select these three vertices here, here, and here. We might select these three vertices as our subset of vertices. So now we have something like this. And then um, we have, and then let's just take, uh, let's just take the same edges. So certainly it's a subset of vertices and all the edges are edges in our original graph. And so here we have a subgraph of, of K4. Now, this, um, now what we have here is actually a very special type of subgraph and that's called a click. A click 
is a complete subgraph. Now, again, this is a very intuitive concept. We've already defined a complete graph, and we have the notion of a subgraph. And so a clique, or a complete subgraph, is a subgraph of an original graph such that there's edges between every possible pair of vertices. And so this is indeed a clique of K4. Now, for the, for the, purposes, you know, for the purpose of this lecture series, you know, at, at some point some might say uh, click, at other point some might say complete subgraph. And it's important to note that um, the, these mean the exact same thing. Now, um, I guess the last idea we want to get across is that of an edge coloring. Now, in edge coloring, um, typically you start off, um, you know, you, when, when you talk about an edge coloring, you, you first define a set of colors. Now, you can have like a two coloring or a three coloring or in general a K coloring. Basically, what that means is we want to select, you know, one, uh, you know, two colors, three colors, or in general K colors, and we simply color every edge of our original, you know, of, of a graph. Um, you know, we simply color every edge of our graph with um, one of those colors. So, for example, a possible coloring of K4, a two coloring, I might add, a possible two coloring of K4 might look something like this. Hopefully, this shows off. So this is one possible two coloring of K4. We have two blue edges and, uh, and uh, the rest of the edges are red. But what's also important to note is, I'm just reproducing K4 over here. What's also important to note um, is that this is also a possible two coloring. We simply chose not to, even though blue is at our disposal, we simply chose not to use blue to color our to color our graph. So um, I guess this concludes the uh, second video on Ramsey theory.